Hey folks, it's been a while, but I just wanted to give you a little update on how my system's doing since I put the new batteries in. Right now we're looking at uh, 2,690 watts of power. And that one pa panel down on the bottom right there, that is going to my other small off-grid system. That one. So that's not included in the uh, system. For the grid tie slash off grid system, the outback system. And it's two 1000 watt, each one is 1000 watt wind turbines at 24 volts. So, yeah, I give you all a little rundown. Man, the batteries are doing excellent. Doing a great job. So, let me take you a little closer look, y'all. We'll go inside. Let's just go on. It's. I mean, it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Eastern Standard Time in Virginia, and looking good, looking good, y'all. Um, getting a lot of full sun, so, alright, take for a little closer walk up here. Well, this is a... This is a video all about the solar panels and uh, how the batteries are working. The new Outback grid hybrid batteries. Uh, the Outback 200 GH batteries. All right. And then they're working smooth. And that, those solar panels back there are my, from a small off-grid system. And these are going to my big, um, big system. the hybrid system with solar panels and wind turbines. Replace the glass with Lexan in my solar air, air heater to get the uh, solar shop nice and tasty warm on the cool winter days. All right, let's go take it for a look inside now. Okay, y'all, here is my battery bank with the 200 GH Outback Energy Cell batteries in there. They're doing a heck of a job. Fantastic. Um, they've been running out for over two months and they're doing a fantastic job, y'all. No complaints. And a clean setup. Going 24 volt. Uh, not, not a whole lot of cables, not a whole lot of mess, just bam, all set up. And here's the top part. I got my battery heaters in there now on each side. Battery heaters are in there. Keeping these puppies nice and toasty and warm at night when it gets down in the 40s or 50s. So that's what these cables are right here. That's coming from my hydro farm heat mats but yeah it's going great y'all one cable coming in and on a positive and on a negative one cable going out that's the negative side and here is a positive side all right let me just pop you up But uh, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a thanks to my Blue Seas Mega Amp bus bars. So everything I got coming off my system, my inverter, my wind turbines, um, everything on my negative side, even my FNDC, Outback FNDC comes off of the, the, that right there. Hooks on these terminals. Matter of fact, get you a closer look up of them. Yeah, they are. All my cables are running into that. Makes a whole lot cleaner setup, y'all. And that's coming from my inverter right here. Everything. And this is the this is the negative side. All right. Now over here on the positive side. Everything, my inverter, which is over there, 
coming in. Wind turbine, reversion load, all right there. And my sensor, my Bogart Tri-Metrics, uh, FNDC, and you see I got everything infused. It just ties right in this 250 amp mega bus bar. And from Blue Seas. And it's got an insulating cover over top of it. From battery switch. My 250 amp fuse right here. So there we go. That's all the cables and everything you should have running into your battery bank. Makes it a whole lot cleaner setup. Uh, the batteries are doing really good. Power consumption, we're doing really good. This is my smaller array on top of the roof. We're producing 520 watts of power. And today we produce 2.7 kilowatt hours on that flatter array. That's 840 watts of power. This charge controller has going on it right now. And my bigger array is bringing in 730 watts at 4.9 kilowatt hour so far today. And conditions are partly cloudy, you know, kind of grayish sky. Not the best from world, but okay. But, and my, my, my midnight kid, that is producing, let me get in here, that's a, that's a smaller, one's over top of the window at uh, 27 watts right now and it's, it's, uh, it's starting to get some shading from the uh, trees and what I mean by shading go up here the sun is starting to right where them trees are at my bad time of the year right now with them pine trees right there. In fact, here you go. Hardly any sun at all on the boost panels. But that happens. Anyway. So, anyway, I'm take five from that. Hey folks, I'm back. Uh, anyway, um, these batteries, these Outback Energy Cell 200 GHs, I installed on August 20th, 2015. It's a 380 amp hour battery bank at 24 volt. And uh, doing a great job. A good amp hours, great size battery bank for what I need it for. Really happy with the batteries. Um, run test runs off grid for a whole day, this and that. S super. Uh, run generator with them, all that kind of stuff. I highly recommend them. Uh, but, uh, and my system is like 2,690 watts or 2.7 kilowatts of solar. Then I had 2,000 watts worth of wind power. All right, I'm capable of producing 4,690 watts, excuse me. Yeah, 4,690 watts we keep producing, or more. But anyway, I, I'm gonna show you what we've produced today so far. Um, right now, solar, we produced 9.52 9 kilowatts today so far and at 349 amp hours. So the battery bank is 380 amp hours. So, and it's 422 in the afternoon. So we'll make our 380 amp hour mark. So we're, we're looking good. We'll be in the plus by this evening. So that is, that's the main key. You don't want to get too big of a battery bank for what for which you can reduce solar. Better have more solar panels than it is a battery bank. So, and that's my experience over the years. All right, 
for example, um, I am capable of going grid tie or off grid here at my house. Uh, but I choose to go grid tie. Reason being, uh, one second, I'll show you here. All right, anyway, we're back to that. <clears throat> Empire, we got some shading right now, so we're not putting out but 350 watts of power right now. All right, hang tight. Okay, y'all, here's my power bill. This is uh, $20.59. And I am grid tying my AC hot out. Uh, excuse me, AC hot in is going to my power panel, my main power panel of my house, which I'm supporting all my loads. Everything I burn in my house is getting supported by solar. So that's proof. Proof is in the pudding. And I burn 105 kilowatt hours this past month. So not too bad. So. And here, here you go again. Here's my charges. So that's what I do for you. I mean, it does a good, super good job. Solar is well worth the money. Um, but like I say, you can't go wrong. Uh, and we, this month, past month, here's the monthly readings. Right here is measured from. 911 uh, September 11th to 1013 105 kilowatt hours and that month we had two weeks of solar rain from that tropical um, storm off the coast two weeks we didn't see hardly any solar and it's still twenty dollars and fifty nine cent okay all right uh, now the power is picking back up you just see on the old faithful Bogart trimetric, 406 watts, power's coming out. But it's that time of the year where you got the pine tree, I got some pine tree shading to the southwest of me. But overall, putting out great power. Like right here, I'm good at my graph. Okay. That's showing the battery. State of charge. Okay, hold up. Graph. Uh, hold up a second, y'all. Tight. Okay, now y'all, I'm gonna show you the graph. That's the battery. Next, state of charge. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And you see the dips and dues and all that good junk from shading, cloud cover, that kind of stuff. That's shunt A. Shunt B is my wind turbines. Not, not too much wind. Shunt C is my midnight kid. That's dipping down right now from the shade. But I'll pop back up here shortly. That's the battery. So we'll get out of there. So right now we're there's 300 watts of solar, and 200 of it's going back to the house. Uh, 100 and so is being kept to uh, keep the batteries charged and maintained and all the good stuff. At float, we're at 27.2 volts right now. We're looking really good. Anyway, I want to give you an update on my system. It's doing really good. As you see on my power bill, I mean, you can't beat it. Solar is the bomb. 
You can't beat it. So, anyway, I wanted to just do a video of what was going on on my system. And I want to say thank y'all for watching. Oh, uh, whoa, good God. Sorry about that, y'all. Get that out of there. I zoomed in too much. All right, there we go. All right, anyway, thank y'all for watching. Please subscribe. God bless the Semper Fire. Y'all have a good one now. All right, now, y'all take care. All right, bye-bye.